If you've been following the news lately, then you've probably heard of bitcoins. What are bitcoins? Well, they're money. But the real question is, what is money? We all know it's not this, right? I mean, this is just a piece of paper which is supposed to represent a certain amount of this. But money isn't gold either, is it? The gold standard arose early in human history due to the mineral scarcity, easy division, and recognizability. There's only a finite amount of gold in the world, and it can only be mined at a predictable rate. Gold currency could be freely exchanged, but it was difficult for individuals to manage and hard for governments to control. So governments began issuing representative money to citizens, notes that could be exchanged for gold. During the 20th century, most governments stopped exchanging gold, and all money essentially became flat money, which only has value because the government says so. However, if a government decided to print flat money at an unpredictable rate, existing money would lose its value. So if that's how this works, how do bitcoins work? Well, bitcoins work similar to gold in that they have a fixed scarcity, can be easily divided and easily recognized. But whereas gold is mined from the earth, bitcoins are mined from the internet. Bitcoins are codes designed to be generated at a predictable rate from the bitcoin network, which awards bitcoins randomly to anyone using the bitcoin software. Users can then freely exchange the generated Bitcoin codes for goods and services, using the central Bitcoin network as a means of verifying a particular code's authenticity. But how is the Bitcoin network any different from a government issuing flat money, or services like PayPal or Second Life's Linden Dollar? While those services are all run by a central authority, the Bitcoin network is a peer-to-peer -peer distributed computing network similar to BitTorrent. This means that the process for creating and verifying Bitcoins is shared among everyone running the Bitcoin software. So what does this mean for the real world economy? Right now, Bitcoins can be exchanged for about 20 US dollars. But if the value of the dollar were to change due to inflation, theoretically bitcoins would still retain their value. However, bitcoins are not immune to economic depressions. Just last week, the bitcoin market suffered a steep crash where bitcoins lost 30% of their value. This was caused by users exchanging their bitcoins for US dollars in mass, like a virtual bank run. Bitcoins suddenly became less valuable only because users temporarily lost faith in the bitcoin's economy stability. In the end, money isn't gold, paper, or even data. Money is trust in a system, be it the earth, the government, or the internet. So our question to you is this. Who do you trust?